Welcome to The Ramen. The soup for college students. I'm Kayla Carey. And I'm Ben Wallace. And we are here to fulfill all your entertainment news needs. And a little more. Well, the story, this biggest story dropping this week is that we're getting Bayou Country Superfest back again. And we're now joined by our country music expert, Wild Bill Caldwell, to tell us more about the second annual Bayou Country Superfest. Thanks for that lovely introduction, Ben. Nothing much to report on just yet, except that the venue and the performers will be announced sometime in October. We'll be sure to keep all of you Honky Tonk Heroes updated as more information unfolds. That's great, Wild Bill. I can't wait for round two of the Bayou Country Superfest. Well, it is the Bayou Country Superfest. Bayou Country Superfest. Bayou, Bayou Country Superfest, man. That is enough. Bayou Country Superfest. Over the last week, the Southern Decadence Gay Pride Festival graced the Big Easy. Unfortunately for the homosexual orientation, the ramen was there. If you missed it, you missed out. Southern Decadence lasted a total of six days this past week, and if you were anywhere in the city, you would have caught a glimpse of it. We're not allowed to show you all the seedy acts that took place between the Bourbon Pub and the parade, but let's just say your jaws would have dropped at the site of these festivities, and they wouldn't have stayed empty for long. With such events as the Hot Butt Contest, you can't expect audience not to give their own version of feedback. The Sunday Parade brought out the young and the old, and all points in between. From college students to senior citizens, they were all slap happy, liquored up, and ready for a good old fashioned drag show. Thanks, guys. Obviously, some fans from last week's episode. On to celebrity news, our favorite celebrity wrestler, Hulk Hogan, has been hospitalized with back spasms. We are now joined live via satellite by Hollywood Hulk Hogan himself from his luxurious hospital bed. About three in the morning, my back uh, went into this major spasm from my hip all the way up to the middle of my back, just totally overwhelming, so. Um, just uh, not doing too good right now. I'm at Morton Plan Emergency Room, and I uh, wish I could be there with TNA, but uh, I've got the luxurious, con luxurious uh, hotel, luxurious, uh, So anyway, it's not related to the surgery. Um, it's all uh, muscle spasms, so hopefully they can give me something to calm this down. Hulk, I hate to add insult to injury, but that camera work was a little shaky. So apparently he's stoned out of his mind right now. Well, what do you think caused this vicious injury? You know, it's possible that years of steroid abuse and atomic elbow drops might just affect your health. You know, Ben, you might have something there. Anyway, Hulk is obviously experiencing a few side effects from those legally prescribed opiates. He was quoted on his Twitter saying, Going to do a bunch of tests today. MRI stuff. Whole bunch of other crazy things. Whoa! Not exactly sure what that means, but hear me out, Hulk. Whatever you do, do not let them shave that glorious mustache in the name of experiment and testing. No one, and I mean no one, could ever wear that handsomely groomed and bleached mustache as well as you. And I couldn't agree more. Last week, Paris Hilton, only our second favorite celebrity behind Lindsay Lohan, was arrested and put behind bars for cocaine possession with her current boy toy, Cy Waits. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Well said, Antoine. But the romantic duo have only made the logical decision after dealing with several minutes of grueling jail time. Fly to Hawaii and rent a private mansion. Did they really? Ugh. I'm so jealous. Me too. Apparently, Paris wants to tone down her constant party lifestyle and focus more on her budding career and love life. Whoa, 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 wait. 
budding career? <laughs> Where have I been? You know who actually has a budding career, though? Oh, yeah, Willis Smith. How'd you know that? Ben, it is on the teleprompter. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, Will Smith's nine-year-old daughter, Willow, released her first single, Whip My Her. Whip it away, Willow. And now we'll whip it on over to K-Squared for more news on Kanye West interrupting Taylor Swift at the VMA Awards. That's right, we're still talking about that. Thanks, Ben. First off, since the VMAs were so long ago, here's a reminder of what really happened. I'm so happy to get this VMA award. I mean, I'm just a little country singer and I'm so honored to get this VMA award. Hey, give me that. Give me that, Mike. Taylor, I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish in a minute. But I just want to say, Beyonce had one of the greatest videos of all time. One of the greatest music videos of all time. Well, at long last, Kanye has finally decided to apologize to Taylor through the art of song. Kanye claims that he has written the most beautiful song for Taylor, and if she refuses to perform it, he'll perform it in her honor. Oh, Ben, isn't that the sweetest thing you've ever heard? Well, I think you've said enough for now. <laughs> Tune in for more of the ramen after this short commercial break. <laughs> 